Eric, tell me about this. This, is, this has been talked about a fair amount, and now it appears they did make an offer, and it's been rejected already. That's right. They made an offer on April 12th, Takeda said. So uh, uh, they were up against an April 25 deadline from the, the UK takeover panel to kind of declare their intentions or, or walk away. Uh, so now they have made an offer. It was rejected, Shire, uh, Takeda says. Um, but the two sides are, are still talking. So uh, do we know, I know it says it's part cash, part stock. Do we know how much was cash and how much was stock? Because one question was how Takeda was possibly going to finance this huge takeover. That's right. They've said about uh, 17 uh, out of the 46 uh, per share um, is in stock. So there, there's a big uh, there's a big portion of it that would have to be uh, that would have to be financed um, uh, by the banks. Uh, at the same time, this has been rejected. They say they're going to be continue to talk about it. Although Takeda says they want to be disciplined. I suppose everyone always says they want to be disciplined. They don't want to bid up too high. Does this say anything about other possible interest in Shire? Yeah, they didn't say anything about it. Of course, that's been a, a subject of speculation. Um, the share, you know, Shire share price rose um, uh, on this again today. So, you know, there, there's certainly some speculation out there that we'll see, you know, one of the other, uh, possibly one of the other pharma giants um, kind of come out of the woodwork on this and, and you know, and, uh, and launch a, a kind of competing, uh, competing bid. Yeah, as we heard today also, uh, Merck is selling its over-the-counter unit to Procter & Gamble. That's for $4.2 billion. It's not the only one that's making these kind of deals. Sanofi said it's going to sell its European generic drug business uh, as well. And Shire has already agreed to sell its cancer unit uh, to a French company. Can you walk us through the, the consolidation and the need for that in the drug space? Sure. Yeah, as you said, there's just been a flurry of activity in the sector, um, really since um, since early this year. It's kind of accelerating. We've had a billion dollar deal a day this week, pretty much. Um, all these th these pharma companies are, are are you know looking to optimize their portfolios. Um, they're trying to. A lot of them are trying to get out of consumer um, health businesses. Pfizer was unable to sell its consumer health business so far, but now Merck. Um, has done so um, with a deal with P&G. So um, that's one thing they're trying to get out of. They're trying to optimize their portfolios so they're, they're stronger in, you know, in research, in developing drugs that, that could be potential blockbusters, looking in areas like rare diseases, um, areas where, you know, where the potential payoff is greater, um, but also where they're more focused. So that's that's what's driving a lot of this, um, so, and you know there are a lot of potential acquirers out there. There's a lot of things that are potentially for sale. 